it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire. What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually record a speed art using OBS. So uh, it's really simple as to how to do this, but the first thing you will actually require is the OBS software. I will leave a link to it in the description down below, or you can just type in OBS free download. As you can see, the software is free, and it's an open source software for live streaming and recording. So you can actually live stream on this, but it's a free software. I really recommend it, it's what I use and it's what a lot of YouTubers actually use to record their screens for things like uh, live streaming and obviously recording speed arts like we're doing here. So go ahead and download that, like I said, link in the description or just type it in on Google and uh, you will need to download that and you will also need an editing program. So I use Sony Vegas as you can see right here, this is Sony Vegas. Uh, it is actually $600, I'm not going to show you guys uh, how to get it for free, <coughs> look on YouTube. And um, yeah, there is a download free trial as well. If you want to go ahead and get the trial for 30 days, you can do that if you need to uh, record a few speed arts. So uh, yeah, Sony Vegas Pro 13 right there. Uh, $600 is the actual price. So um, try and get it for free if you can. But uh, if you can't, just maybe get s something like Camtasia or something like that. But you need an editing program that will actually speed up the clip. Uh, after you record it. So uh, first things first you will need to record uh, for your video so as you can see here this is quite trippy but um, this is OBS itself you can see a little preview of what you're recording right now let's actually go to my desktop so you can see it easier and um, yeah so this is the little preview and uh, if you actually want to start recording just go over to here right click go to add and uh, go to monitor capture once you've done that, you will then need to mess around with some settings. So first of all, go to settings, and it will open up this page. Go uh, first of all, you've got general, so you choose your language. Set in a profile, you can name it whatever you want. Copy down these settings, so I've got the enable cursor uh, enabled. Uh, no, we're just going to leave that. Uh, encoding, as you can see right here, maybe pause the video and copy these down. But I've got times 264, quality balance on 10, a, uh, I think that's 20,000. Uh, max bitrate, codec AAC, format 48k hertz, I don't know what that is, but uh, then over this side everything's left, and then the bitrate 320, that's the max, and the channel is on stereo. Then for the broadcast settings, this is basically where you want to save uh, your files, so at the moment I've got it in some of my videos, essentials, called noob, I don't know why, but um, yeah, go ahead and name it, and it will name all my files lol. I don't know why I do that, but it just is. Uh, next thing is video. Just choose your graphics card right here. Uh, go to custom and just make it 1920 by 1080 unless your monitor is something different. The aspect ratio 16 by 9. And then you've got the resolution downscale just on none and the FPS on 60. So you get uh, the best quality possible. And then for the audio, personally, I record my audio in Audacity as you guys can see right here. But um, you can go ahead and use OBS for that if you wish. But um, these are my audio settings if you do need them. But I'm going to skip that because I don't actually use that. And if even if you're doing a speed art, you don't need that. So uh, hotkeys, everything's left. I've got start recording on F8, but I never use that. And the advanced settings, as you can see here, use multi-thread uh, enabled. Then we've got normal 700 for the scene buffering. Then uh, the encoding is unticked, uh, we've got allow other modifiers on hotkeys, that's ticked. Then uh, as you can see here, faster, high, two. I recommend pausing the video because I don't really want to go into too much detail for the settings because this isn't a OBS settings video. And then we've got quick sync, none of that is changed. We've got the microphone noise gate, none of that is changed. And the scene switcher, none of that is changed. So I'm going to cancel that. And as you can see here, if you press uh, start recording over here, it will actually start the recording and you can go ahead and do your speed up. So once you are finished, just click stop recording and it will save uh, wherever you have put the file. So I'm going to go into my files right now and just get a previous video 
I'm, uh, even though it's not speed art, I'm just going to grab one of these that I have recorded. So say uh, this video, I'm just going to drag it in. Uh, maybe it's not long enough. So I've just dragged it into Sony Vegas in a new uh, in a new bit. So uh, once you've done that, you can get rid of the audio. You don't need any audio to do this. Just press U so it separates the audio with the video. And then you can uh, highlight this and press delete. And as you can see now, it will just be the video clip. So to shorten this, uh, it's 13 seconds. So maybe that's not the best one to go ahead and shorten but we'll try and find uh, I don't know what this is perhaps this is like a CSGO gambling video yeah CSGO gambling video and we're gonna shorten this so first of all you on that and then press delete and as you can see here this video is uh, quite long I oh no it's not even that long it's like 25 seconds but um, as you can see here if we zoom out so to shorten it all you have to do is hold down control on your keyboard uh, at the very end bit and then just shorten it down as uh, short as it goes as you can see here so that 25 minute clip or whatever has gone to six minutes so uh, if even if you wanted to shorten it even more uh, a way I would do this is to go to render render the uh, actual clip and then um, once you've rendered it put it back into Sony Vegas once again and do the exact same process and it will shoot on it even more but this is how I record my speed arts you may record it something different uh, but you may use Camtasia for instance but I find Camtasia's quality to not be so good so I recommend using OBS definitely and for the render settings they're pretty much normal but if you want say a render settings video uh, be sure to put that in the comments but or you can just pause the video and copy down these settings but anyways guys I do hope you have enjoyed this video uh, I know it's been quite short but I do get a lot of people asking me uh, um, obviously how do I record my speed arts and things like that so that's how I record a, a general speed art but anyways like I said before hope you guys have enjoyed the video this has been visual or James and I'm out peace no, no, no. They want me, they don't